I feel like I ain't got common sense. All the years trying to conquer this. Been on the grind so long, worked so hard. Still feel like I ain't accomplished shit. One time I struggled, so got humble. Hard for me to take a compliment. But let me tell you, when Teddy was there with Jack, I gotta give him props. He revolutionized wrestling the little time he was there. What he did, what he wore, and the swag he bought, nobody disco. And I mean, nobody had it. He was special, bro. Bro, the fans love him. I worked with Teddy last year uh, at MLW for a while, and I even mentioned on the show, you know, hey, he's he's on good behavior. He's obviously showing up. He occasionally goes, you know, a little overboard in his matches with some of the stuff that he does, but he was selling, and he was, you know, I saw him do jobs. I didn't see any arguments. He, You know, I thought everything was good. Maybe, you know, he had stabilized himself, and I had no issue with him because I have nothing against him personally. Let me give you let me give you one guy that is not young but still has it and I'd also like that before I say that that I've still got it like that. Uh, I was about to say you're just about to put yourself over. Huh? <laughs> That's right. It's Teddy Hart, bro. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I mean, uh, honestly, we brought him in. And it was a, we, we pop, dude. We, he got the biggest pop when we brought him in last June and it, it's been phenomenal. It really has oh, been. It doesn't phenomenal. matter what city you take him to, he's over. Dude is over, and like uh, honestly, uh, there are guys in the locker room that give you headaches. Teddy has been easy. I mean, seriously, Heart Foundation shattered all our records for T-shirt sales on MLWShop.com. I'd love to see Teddy make it in wrestling, and in a lot of ways, he deserves to make it in wrestling. And when it's done right, it's a beautiful art, and I was really proud that I was able to create and I helped uh, inspire a whole generation of, of wrestlers to try to have a new offense and to think what was possible and to walk away without any serious injuries and if I never had another wrestling match again I would be happy that uh, you know I walked away and I believe God was the answer and judge to the question of was I a good person well then I think I was based on this uh, it, there's no way of doing it properly unless you're a true master and if you can do it for 25 years which no one else really has been able to do that for as long as I did without ever having a surgery without ever getting hurt or if I had one small injury my whole career in wrestling and um, you know that's that's what I'm looking at is the blessing that's what I'm looking at is a million dollar contract is the credibility I have amongst real wrestling people that watched as an athlete when the wrestling is the wrestling that's clean and it's precise and it's not sloppy ever and it's never crazy and those moves I hit all those different moves never to knee a guy in the face or to drop an elbow by accident because I was fucking high before the match or some crap not a, not a joke every one of those moves you had to do it 20 30 50 times to get that move where guys trust you to hit it because you hit it once or twice and it's sloppy and you seriously hurt a guy that's it for that move and that's it for your credibility and then after that it's an uphill battle on trying to create stuff because you're going to constantly be told no because you're not safe